What's up, Pisces gang? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time here. Welcome. I am Quisha here with Abundant Healing. I was sent here from the universe to give you guys some good messages, some good love, some good reading, some good healing, some good vibes, all of that plus more. I was sent here to give it to you and that's exactly what I'm doing. So thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are doing a daily money reading. I feel like I shouldn't say that every day because we do this every day. Like, every day I give y'all money readings because y'all said that's what y'all want. Y'all said, we don't want no love readings. It's too many people that's doing love readings. We want your money readings, Quisha. So that's what I'm giving y'all, okay? And we do them every day. So if you are a Pisces, if you're a true Pisces and you want these readings on um, how you can become more successful and you want channel messages from the universe on how you can attract more money into your life, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? Don't wait. Do it now. I mean, you've been watching me this whole time and you ain't subscribed. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, okay? <laughs> but anyways, y'all, um, thank you guys to all of my returning supporters. Thank you guys for all of my returning subscribers. If you want to support the channel more, you can do so by clicking the link in the description box. We have personalized readings. If you want a personalized reading, the link is there. Stuff, love, mystery box. Wealth and Abundance Mystery Box if you want to attract more money into your life. I have some tools and things that you can use in order to do that. That link is in the description. Also, if you want Pisces merch, if you want Pisces necklaces, coffee mugs, um, paintings and canvases and things like that, then that link is also there, Pisces Collection. Get you some Pisces merch, honey. Okay? Hmm. There you go. Um, so, yeah, let's jump into your money reading and see what the universe has for me to give you guys today in regards to your money. Universe, what messages, what advice can I give the Pisces collective today in regards to money? In regards to their wealth and success, in regards to their income, and in regards to their jobs, what messages or what advice can I give them today, Universe? Thank you so much. Please bring in the most relevant messages for the Pisces collective watching today. What messages and advice can I give the Pisces that's watching today? Thank you so much, Universe. Okay, first card coming out. Hang one. Pisces energy. Root by Neptune. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we got for you today. Okay, I'm gonna pop out, so I gotta pop them out. Beautiful. Yes, nine of pentacles showing up at the bottom. Followed by the judgment card and the knight of cups. On the top deck, we have the ace of swords followed by the star and the nine of cups. Nice, nice. Nine of pentacles, baby. Everything that you want is coming to you. You are now in an era where you are reaping the benefits of your labor or you are reaping the fruits of of your labor we are in Taurus Taurus season so you know um it's all about getting money y'all like i mean it's not all about getting money of course but you know if you want to be successful if you want to build you know financial security for your family now is the time to you know start a business do what you want to do do what you love doing okay Get rid of some things as well. The Taurus season is also about um, getting rid of things that no longer serve you um, in the physical world. In the spiritual world too, but more so in the physical world. Because, you know, um, the Taurus is an earth sign. So, earth signs are all about physical things and worldly possessions. So, any possessions that you may have, clothes, shoes, things like that, that you don't wear, that you, don't, that you can't fit no more, give them away to charity um and that is just a ritual that you can do for the tourist season so that you can invite more um beautiful things into your life okay you can invite more of the physical blessings into your life so you have to in, in order for you to receive you have to give it has to be an even balance of giving and receiving okay so in order for you to receive more abundance give okay and you can give some of those things that you can't fit or some of those things i know because i know i got so i got some in my closet that i need to give away too even though i give away some stuff every year i still be having more stuff to give so go ahead you got some things that you can't fit no more that you don't wear 
give them away to charity. And that's a ritual that you can do in the Taurus season to help you, you know, give and receive on a more balanced frequency. All right. Now, jumping right into the hanged one. All right. You are seeing things from a different perspective. Okay. Um, it's as if you have gained more knowledge in regards to your, um, in regards to your job and in regards to your career, you're gaining more knowledge. You're gaining more wisdom. So this wisdom and this knowledge that you are gaining is allowing you to see things from a different perspective. And it's also grounding you and keeping you stable so that you can build more so that you can, um, be more financially stable. Wisdom is so important, y'all. The more you learn, the more you grow. And I feel like I feel like right now, you are someone who's watching this. You know that the world, like things in your life that are happening, you're not allowing them to take you off your path. You're not allowing things that happen to, you know, um, make you feel less than or make you feel like you're not worthy of success. It's like you, whatever happens in your life, you're like, okay, all right, like we're going to get through this. I've gotten through it before. I can get through it now. I can get through it again. You know, you're not allowing things to break you down. The hang one is, the hang one got himself in this position and he's aware of that. Okay. He have awareness of that. And he's content with being hung upside down because he knows that if, well, this is, you know, I, I got myself in this position. So I just got to trust the universe with this one. You know, I got to trust my intuition. I got to know that I'm, that I'm here for a reason. And I got to soak up all this knowledge and information so that I'm allowed to grow because you don't want to, um, in any type of situation that you go through, there is a lesson that you can learn. Okay, regardless of what the situation is, good or bad, you can always learn. We are always learning. You are always, you should always be a student of life. Okay, showing up here in your uh, current moment, you have the Queen of Cups. Okay, now in regards to money, the Queen of Cups is just so loving and so giving and just so nurturing. Um, and she can go deep in emotions you know she can get very attached to something or someone because she's so emotional but what i'm getting with this queen of cups is that you are again we have all of your energy is here okay your energy is here pisces and i feel like you're on a very um what's the word i'm looking for like this path that you are on it's you you are learning so much but in all this learning that you're doing you are just there's so much stuff that's happening on the spiritual world on the spiritual realm and it, it's 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 allowing you to manifest everything that you want into your reality like you it's like you're you're you know what you have to do in order for you to live a balanced and a peaceful life because i feel like with the queen of cups she's very stable in her emotions okay so like the like like i was saying with the hang one how you're not allowing things to um get to you or knock you off your path with the queen of cups you're not allowing your emotions to take control you're not allowing your emotions to um to to throw you this way and then throw you that way you know even if your emotions do um kind of go up and down you're not allowing yourself to get lost in those waves. You are observant of those waves and you know how to control those waves because you know that you are the master of your own mind. You are the master of your reality. So you have control. And that's what you're doing right here with the Queen of Cups. You have control over what your emotions, um, how your emotions control you. Okay, when it comes to business with the Queen of Cups, you are, you're not allowing money to control your emotions. Okay, you're not allowing the lack thereof or you're not allowing the amount of money to 
change who you are. Okay? You are you are anchored in your in your purpose and you know what you're supposed to be here. You know what you're supposed to be doing and you are doing just that. You are a beautiful spiritual being and you are embodying a goddess and you are embodying someone who is just, you know, to other people, it's like you, you, you the shit girl, like you, a boy, you know, you, you, you got it all figured out, don't you? But it's like, you're going with the flow of life and you understand the ebb and flow of life. You understand how these things work. You understand how the universe works and you are, you know, you're allowing yourself to feel things and you're allowing yourself to go through the motions, but you're not allowing these emotions to, um, take you off this journey, take you off this path that you're on. You're a very spiritual person and you know that and you do that and you show that within your work. People can see that. Okay. You also have the queen of wands showing up here. Now this is your fierce side. Okay. You have, <laughs> I love this. This is such a Pisces. Like this is such a Pisces reading y'all. We got the hang one here. That's Pisces energy. We got the Queen of Cups. That's Pisces energy. Then we got the Queen of Wands. That is kind of like on the other side of the Queen of Cups. Because it's like these two cards, right? You see one is so loving. And you know, like how our Pisces, you know, we have two different sides to us. You know, we got those two fish. So one is the Queen of Cups. And she is just so loving. She's very soft-spoken and... You know, she'll give the shirt off her back. She loves animals and she's just, you know, you know, she, she talks really sweet to you, but baby, she can be very fierce. <laughs> she can be fierce too. Don't, don't try her. Okay. Or don't come between her, but her business and what she's trying to do for herself and her family, because you're going to have to see about it. Okay. This, this is your fierce side. This is you being confident. This is you not letting anyone deter you from your goals. This is you putting action to everything that you want. This is you taking what's yours. Okay? The, the Queen of Cups is just receiving so much and giving so much love and abundance. But this side of you, honey, is like, oh, what a smoke it. I wish a nigga, you know, I'm sorry, y'all. It took you away. <laughs> I get too carried away. I'm sorry. Gosh, y'all forgive me. But y'all know what I'm saying though. Like, it's like you got this watery side and then you got this fiery side. You know what I'm saying? It's like the Sour Patch Kid. Like, one minute you're sweet and then the next minute you're sour. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> And this is how you get ahead in life, y'all. When you're doing business and you have a company or if you have a business and you are a boss, right? You do have to have compassion, okay? You do have to have a sense of generosity and forgiveness. That is important, okay? But you also got to have this fear side of you. You also got to have this confidence, okay? Okay? You also got to have that drive, that force in you that is just ready to do whatever it is that you got to do in order for you to win, in order for you to be successful, but not in a way that's going to go against your morals though. You know what I'm saying? Like not in a way that's going to um, deter who you are and demise your character because you're a queen and you're a boss at the same time. Okay, so you know exactly what you embody and you know what you got to do. And it's like with the Queen of Wands, you are manifesting everything that you want into your reality. You are just getting what you deserve and what you want. You taking it. Okay, it's like, you know, you have a vision and you're doing your because the, the Queen of Wands is not just a visionary. She's someone who's taking action towards her goals, towards her vision. She's not just sitting there reminiscing, you know, because sometimes the Queen of Cups, she'll just sit there and just, you know, sit in her thoughts and just think about and fantasize about, you know, the life that she wants and, you know, the, the how many kids she wants and where she wants to live, okay? But the Queen of Wands, she, she goes, she just, she does it. She doesn't sit there and visualize it, even though, like, it's good to do that. Queen of Cups, you need that. Like, we, it's a balance. Okay, it's a balance between, um, you know, our our 
um, what am I looking for? It's a balance between our, our fantasy world and our, you know, the reality of things. Okay, that's just what it is. It's a balance. We have a balance. And you can always have those two sides of yourself because you're a freaking Pisces. Okay? That's what makes us so great. That's what make that's what make us so special. Because a lot of people only have that one side. Okay? The lead, the lion only have that one side. But Pisces, baby, we can turn it on and turn it off. We can we can be very sweet, but we can also be very fierce. Okay? We can just sit there and fantasize about stuff, but we can also get it done too. Okay? With action. And and goal driven action <laughs> okay you follow me okay i'm gonna get a couple more cards down here y'all let me just see let it let's see what else we got this is a beautiful i love how this is going it is all about the pisces in this reading honey you are telling more what more can i give this beautiful pisces that's watching today that is such a beautiful person that is gorgeous inside and out honey and body in this boss like energy oh baby Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes, yes. I love this. We're going to use those as your outcomes. Seven of Cups at the bottom. Don't let them confuse you. Don't be confused. Okay? Look at this. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Hard work and dedication, baby. Hard work and dedication. You have the Eight of Cups, not the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles showing up here. This is you working very diligently, very, you're a hard worker. You know what you got to do to stack the coins. You know what you got to do to build a very solid foundation for you and your family. You know exactly what you got to do and you are working hard. The universe sees you, okay? You're not doing the things that everybody else is doing. You're doing the things that you know that you need to do in order for you to be successful. You're not worried about nobody else. The Seven of Pentacles is here because guess what? As long as you are continuing to water those seeds of success, then you will be successful. Everything is going to come to you in the perfect time. The Seven of Cups, I mean, this is, <laughs> well, you see how I keep saying cups? The Seven of Pentacles is saying focus on your long-term investments, okay? Focus, know that the business that you have right now is going to, not just uh, double, but triple, triple in the future. Know that all the work that you are putting in right now is setting you up for a very lucrative, a very successful, um, wealth, wealthy future. You also have the Hierophant here. The Hierophant is saying, baby, more knowledge, more information, the higher you are, the, the more successful you are as far as knowledge and wisdom goes. Okay, you are giving this wisdom back. You are receiving this wisdom and it's a very balanced um, flow of, of life. Okay? Now, this could be you taking classes. This could be you um, seeking um, help from someone that is, you know, doing the same thing you're doing. This could be you um, seeking spiritual advice from a guru or a spiritual leader. This could be you wanting to, this could be you as a spiritual leader. You know, you could you could be doing spiritual stuff that you want to um, start a career out of, you know. Showing up here, you also have the Eight of Moon as the out, uh, outcome card, along with the Wheel of Fortune as the outcome card. This is telling me that you are facing your fears. You are not afraid to do what you got to do, Pisces. That's what I'm talking about. You are not afraid of the dark side, okay? Hence this... Um, queen of cups Blah. you see what i'm saying cups 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 is in my mind the queen of wands the queen of wands is not afraid to face the darkness the queen of wands is fierce okay and you are fierce okay you are facing your shadow self you are healing your shadow self you are healing and you are working hard and guess what here you go the will of fortune what you put in is what you're getting out Okay, all that hard work that you are putting in, you are getting out. If you ever feel like you are on the bottom, maybe you are going to the top. You are going to the top. You are lucky. You are lucky. This is just abundance happening for you, Pisces, in your near future. There is so much abundance that is happening for you. 
There's so much that you're going to have in store. It's going to be beautiful, Pisces. You have so much in store for you. And you are divinely guided. Your angels are guiding you to success. And it's the most beautiful thing to, um, to be a part of. Because now you're sharing this knowledge back with other people. Okay, now you're giving this knowledge back. You've done all of the work and you've received all of this. Now it's time to give it back. Okay? And you are blessed and highly favored. Like I say that every single time because that's what it is. You are blessed and highly favored. Okay? That is my message, Pisces. Things are looking so beautiful for you. I cannot, like, wait to hear you guys tell me all of your success stories and say, Quisha, you know, I watched your reading a month ago. You said... I can't wait. I can't wait because success is literally happening for you. Like so much stuff is happening for you in the spiritual realm. And you probably don't even know. You don't, you don't even see it, but you can feel it though. I bet you can feel it. I know you can feel it. Okay. The will of fortune is saying that your fortune is blessed. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If anything in this message resonates with you, remember to leave me a comment. If anything in this message resonate with you, I gladly appreciate you guys so much for watching. I really, really do. Remember that if you want to support the channel more, you can do so by clicking the links in the description box. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's what I have, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love each and every one of you guys for watching. Remember to always take what resonates and do what? Leave the rest. <laughs> All right, y'all. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Okay, bye.